Hello, and welcome to eTime with ISL. In this segment, we will discuss training hours being coded through the time card. For this example, we're going to go to an existing employee's time card. This employee clocked in at 1031 and went to lunch at 237. Let's say for demonstration purposes that they had training between 11 and 1 o'clock. Note down below that they currently have 10.5 regular hours. We're going to code two of those hours to training hours. I'm going to take the existing day, insert a row, and what I want you to remember is in, in, transfer, transfer. So in this case, they went into training at 11 a.m., and they went back into their normal duties at 1 p.m. Now let's look at the transfers. To transfer to training, it's going to be in the work rules. Let's go back and look at that again. We're going to go to the transfer dropdown, go to search, We're going to go to the work rules. In most states, the work rule will simply say training. In this particular example, it's going to say California hourly training. But in your, most states, it should just say training. The work rule is going to be to transfer them to California hourly training, say OK. And then on the second transfer, I'm going to transfer them back to their regular duties. So again, I'm going to, from the transfer dropdown, I'm going to go to search. And I'm again going to tra transfer the work rule back to an hourly employee. In many cases, it may just say hourly or it may say hourly 10, 12, 40, or hourly greater than 40, which means uh, that employee is eligible for overtime for any hours worked over 40 in a week. Let's say OK. And now to demonstrate what the effect is, don't forget that you can use your actions, calculate totals feature. And down below, I can see now that 10 and a half of those hours were previously allocated to regular hours. Now we're at eight and a half for regular hours and two hours for training time. You can see that the system automatically took that 11 o'clock punch, clocked them out at 11 o'clock from their regular duties, clocked them back into training at 11, out of training at 1, and back into their regular duties at 1 o'clock. So the number of hours has not changed for the day, just where we've allocated those hours. You do not need a sign punch change form to convert regular hours into training hours because we are not changing any of the actual punches. If that is your desired effect, you can simply say save. If after doing this, performing this function, you decide that that is not the desired, desired outcome, simply go back to actions and say refresh, and it'll put it back where it once was. And that concludes this session on converting to training hours.